Good evening. Would my colleagues please join me? Right here. Board is this for? You see. Yeah. Don't you have to have qualification? I think you have to have qualification for the PUC. Commissioner Florimont stated that he is running late. He will be joining us shortly. Commissioner Jean also stated that she is running late and she'll be as soon as she can. I received word that Commissioner Joseph is running late. Commissioner Phyllis Smith. Present. Commissioner Smuckler. Present. Acting Mayor Chernoff. Here. Mr. Mayor, at this time, you do not have quorum. Okay. Everybody, I'm gonna give them 15 minutes. I apologize to all of you. Um, this is not the first time that this has happened, and it's not fair to any of us who's been sitting here since three o'clock this afternoon for meetings that they were supposed to be at. So, you know, I'm not apologizing to them because this is maybe my last as being the mayor, and like I said, I've been nice about it. I've been most diplomatic. And at this point, it's very frustrating. And you know, I apologize to all of you. You're all here to do business with the city. The city's here to do business with you, but I can't get my colleagues to be here. And there's no excuse for that. So Madam Clerk, I guess we can do the invocation and the pledge and start and then give them 15 minutes. And if they're not here, then we'll call the meeting. Could everybody please rise. Like everybody, oh, do, do the pledge of flag first. Do the pledge of flag first. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please keep standing. Standing? Yeah. Why? Because I'm going to do the invocation. Well, maybe I want you to stand for this one. OK. Um, we wish that there was peace in the Middle East at this time and that no more lives are taken. And at this time, we'd like a moment of silence for Diane Ralston, who we lost during the past week, who's been going to be buried tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So please take a moment of silence. Thank you. Madam Clerk, on the agenda, if we ever go through it, I'd like to move up 15.1. Move it up to where, sir? Uh, wherever you can fit it in, but to make it reflect at the beginning of the meeting, not the end of the meeting. Can I have an agenda? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Can I have an Can I have an agenda? Yes, you may. Thank you. And I pulled two things. So we're going to talk about that now. Yes, say so say what you pulled. I pulled uh, uh, To be clear. Um well, we can't do anything because we don't have a quorum. You, you can discuss whatever you want, but there cannot be any action taken until a quorum exists. Well, technically, we can direct the clerk to move or take an item away, and we just can't approve it. 
until that's correct so right. we would have to you know you can discuss it and 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 ask the clerk to make a note of it and if and when a quorum exists then she would read into the record that uh the whatever items that the uh, uh commission has to, uh, already discussed or talked about um to be moved to when it gets to the um section well we're at section four uh when the meeting convenes right so phyllis go ahead with yours oh i was pulling the economic and the speak into point. your microphone here's your mic yes madam clerk you got that i was president six okay um I was pulling the economic and the uh, strategic plan for just for discussion. Thank you. From the consent. Commissioner Smuckler, do you have anything? IT, Commissioner Smuckler needs a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they did it for you. Oh, did they? Yeah, it's done. But the screen didn't come up. Yeah, it did. It's there. No, I pushed that button. Yeah, right. You had to push the blue button first. Yeah. But I didn't do it at yeah, six. Done the I just did it now. Yeah, it's okay. So, okay. I didn't. I thought this was just that. Oh. So, so we have a new system, everyone. New system. Manager, do you want to do announcements or anything you want to oh, get off the agenda right so now that we don't need a quorum for? Thank you, Mayor. We'll we'll do the announcements um, and and the and play the video. Check, check. Uh, this portion of the um, agenda doesn't require a quorum. I mean, we, we, there's no meeting. Uh, it's just a, uh, what I would um, state the equivalent of a public service um, state uh, announcement. Uh, obviously begs the question um, if the other, uh, when the other commissioners uh, show up, if they ask staff Where's the present? Where are the presentations? We may end up arguably repeating ourselves. Understand. Madam Clerk. Yes, I received word due to the weather condition. Um, Commissioner Joseph should be here in about 615, 620. That's on now. I was here and it was weather. And that's on now. Okay, guys. Go ahead, David. If you want to. If you want to wait. That's up to you. It, it's up to all of you. I, I'm at 6.15, I'm calling the meeting. Okay. Um, uh, thank you, Acting Mayor Commissioners. Um, we'll just get right to it. Please, please play the video. Hello, Hello enemy, enemy residents. residents. My, My name is Andrees Bernard, Bernard, your city clerk, clerk of, of the city of North Miami Beach, Beach. reminding you that your vote counts. Tuesday, Tuesday December 5th, 2023, 2023 from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. will be the special election for seat one mayor. If you choose to vote by mail, the deadline to request a vote by mail ballot is on Thursday, November 23rd. You can make the request online at miamiday.gov forward slash elections. You can also call 305-499-8683 or go to the Miami-Dade County Elections Department for voting locations in the city of North Miami Beach, check your voter's registration card. You can also call the office of the city clerk at 305-787-6001 or go online by visiting miamidade.gov forward slash elections. 
Remember, Remember NMB, voting, voting is power. power. Exercise, Exercise your right, right to vote. vote. And, and we'll, we'll see you at the, the polls. polls. The City of North Miami Beach is launching new programs to assist our residents. The Business Assistance Grant will allow eligible for-profit business owners in the City of NMB to receive a grant in the amount of $2,000. The grant is to be used for expenditures that allow businesses to remain viable and operational. The Home Mortgage and Rental Assistance Program begins Wednesday, November 15th. NMB residents can apply online at citynmb.com or pick up an application at City Hall. The Home Rehabilitation Program is set to launch December 4th. It's designed to provide financial assistance to low to moderate income households to repair their owner-occupied single-family properties. The program covers windows, doors, or roofs. For more detailed information, come to the Home Rehab Workshop taking place Friday, November 17th at 6 p.m. in the McDonald's Center. Do you know about NMB Waters We Care to Share Payment Assistance Program? Residents in need may apply to receive help in paying their water bills thanks to the voluntary contributions of other NMB Water customers and businesses who care to share. Visit citynmb.com and search We Care to Share. Over the last few weeks, the City of North Miami Beach held several events that had our community feeling inspired, motivated, entertained, and a little spooked. On October 20th, the City of North Miami Beach Police Department held the Domestic Violence and Gun Violence Youth Symposium at Julius Litton Theater for some insightful discussion and expert speakers to empower youth and work towards a safer and more peaceful community. On Saturday, October 21st, NMB Discovery Library also brought awareness to domestic violence as well as breast cancer to show support for those affected by this issue and to help educate and inform others. Did you hear about Jazz on the Canal? Well, on Sunday, October 22nd, hundreds of residents and jazz enthusiasts came out to see the headliner, Milton Mustafa Jr., and other exciting performers from Florida Memorial University, NMB High School, and more. The event at the amphitheater was sponsored by Coastal Waste and Recycling and in Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. Jazz on the Canal was a beautiful night of music and fun. On October 23rd, NMBPD participated in the DEA's National Take Back Day, which was a unified opportunity for the public to surrender expired, unwanted, or unused pharmaceutical controlled substances and other medications to law enforcement officers for destruction, bringing a national focus to the issue of pharmaceutical drug abuse. On October 24th, Miami-Dade County's Division of Transportation held the Golden Passport presentation for seniors 65 years of age and older at NME Discovery Library. The program allows seniors to ride free on transit using the Golden Passport. October 26th was another successful bar share event serving many of our residents in the city. Friday, October 27th was the famous Senior Luncheon where dozens came out for great food, important announcements, prizes, and of course, fellowship. The next Senior Luncheon, sponsored by Mount Sinai, will be November 17th in the McDonald's Center. Halloween weekend was another exciting time. On October 28th, the City of North Miami Beach's Monster Mash Bash, put on by the Department of Parks and Recreation, saw hundreds come out and have lots of spooky fun. The library held a not-so-scary Halloween on the 31st, but families had a blast taking part in the pumpkin carving and decoration event. Friday, November 3rd was the monthly mobile diaper pantry at NMB Discovery Library. The next diaper distribution event at the library will be December 8th from 9.30 to 8.30 a.m. November 7th was the first installment of City Manager's Listening Tour, which took place at Yulia Park. The Listening Tour is an opportunity for residents to meet City Manager Mario Diaz and his staff. The next stop for the City Manager's Listening Tour will take place Thursday, November 16th at 6.30 p.m. at Washington Park, located at 15290 Northeast 15th Court. On November 11th, Parks and Recreation held a Veterans Day ceremony at Corporal B. Hanson Park for fallen warriors. The city of NMB stands in awe of the incredible men and women who have served in our U.S. armed forces. Your bravery, sacrifice, and unwavering dedication have shaped the fabric of our nation, and we thank you for your service. Monday, November 13th, was the NMB Turkey Drive Through Distribution, sponsored by Coastal Waste and Recycling and in Florida Blue. This event exemplifies our dedication to supporting and bringing joy to our residents during the holiday. 
The next turkey, turkey drive through distribution, distribution will be Wednesday, November 15 at 8 a.m. at the Aquatic Center, located at 1980 Northeast 171st Street. Now let's get into what we all can look forward to in the days and weeks ahead. On Friday, November 15 at 6 p.m., Miami-Dade County Transit, the City of North Miami Beach, and the City of North Miami are hosting an informational session about the Better Bus Network Initiative. Be sure to attend to hear about the county's bus route changes and opportunities to stay connected through all transportation options in North Miami and North Miami Beach. Representatives from both cities will be in attendance. The event will be held at the Father Gerard Jean Just Community Center, located at 690 Northeast 159th Street in Miami. We look forward to seeing you there. Friday, November 17 at 6.30 p.m. is the Discover Art in Motion. Explore a new way to enjoy art at NMB Discovery Library. Enjoy a stunning art showcase created by artists from Europe and America. November 25th is Small Business Saturday, so get out there and support our small businesses in the city of North Miami Beach. December 9th at 5 p.m. is North Miami Beach's Snow Fest and Tree Life Celebration. December 11th is the Menorah Life Celebration at City Hall. December 13th is the Holiday Literacy Event. And December 16th is the Washington Park Holiday Move Night. So that concludes the video, but please make sure before you leave to get some of the flyers of the new programs that will be launching uh, soon. So that's all for me. Thank you, David. Thank you. Madam Clerk, let the record reflect that Commissioner Joseph is here. Noted. Thank you. All right. I apologize to all of you. Due to a non-quorum, we can't proceed with the meeting. This meeting is closed. Good night. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Okay. What? Thanksgiving. Wait. Uh, you see five people here? We don't have five people. Start we don't have a quorum. Is there any time for? Because I, I was, traffic was bad for me heading, coming over here. So can we not give some time? Huh? No, no. We're done. I can cancel. We have in point items. I know we have the point items. I'm not. Yeah, we have. I, but what do you do? You know what Commissioner Florimond and Commissioner John is? I, I called letting them know I was going to be late. I, I have been here since three o'clock today because we had an executive session that didn't happen because you didn't show up and because Mackenzie didn't show up. Then at four p.m. we didn't have a CRA meeting because you didn't show up and Commissioner Jean didn't show up and Commissioner Florimond didn't show up. I have been here since three. I work. I work. I could have been working till five. Instead, I've been here since three doing absolutely nothing, okay? So this is in considerate of you, Commissioner John, and Commissioner Florimond. Um, so to be, to put on the record, I did call in to the clerk. I mean, you could, can you verify that for me? Saying that I was running late because of traffic? I was 3 p.m. We had no, an executive no, session okay. at 3 p.m. No, no I, I, you know what? I'm gonna say this because I should be working Okay, I have work to do. I have a, a living to make. Instead, I wasted two hours doing absolutely nothing. Nothing, like absolutely nothing. Eating three bags of, of, of chips. That's what I did. I gained two pounds because of this. To be clear, can you please let them know for the it record? It was stated on the record that you- And I, and I never, and, and in regards twice. to the shade meeting, I had other cases, because I'm a practicing attorney myself, okay. and I wasn't able to take time to okay, meet, make then, the three o'clock. That wasn't my- f Okay, but if people are not gonna be here, let me know. But you I- know, You know what, Michael? You know my phone number, say- Why would I- me. Say, I I, I'm not gonna I go. I can't do it's that. A waste of okay. your time, don't show up. Madam Give Clerk, call, Madam Clerk, can I, I do that? It was stated twice that you were running late. I was, that, that's what was, but, I called my, okay. I was supposed to call the clerk. Okay, and what about the others? Guys? It's not my responsibility. Okay, I, everybody's going to say it's not their responsibility, but one plus one plus one guys. equals three. No, I'm, I'm, I am upset because I also have to work and I made it a point to be here. Okay, nobody can call in and say, cancel the executive meeting, cancel the CRA 